We are just moments away from hopefully a massive promo for cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins. Check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I'm expecting a new set of Road to the Final for purposes. Uh, a lot of people have been saying we're getting a new Road to the Final. I'm expecting Prime Icons to finally release new icon swaps. Uh, and whatever else EA wants to throw at us for Footmas at 6 p.m. Well, like I said, we're just a few moments away. Let's see what we get. You might notice as well, I've also upgraded the uh, webcam uh, to a full DSLR camera. If you want to see the difference, basically. So this is the DSLR camera. Uh, this is the old webcam. Ignore the packaging in the background. Um, and this is the DSLR camera. So I think that the quality is a lot better. Let me know down below if you prefer the quality or not. Let's get straight back into the video. It's just turned 6 p.m. I'm gonna be refreshing Twitter, looking to see if we have promo packs. So we've got a 90 rated foot, Mr. Heyer. Do we have lightning rounds? We do, which means we've got stuff in packs. I'm gonna start opening them straight away because it does mean that we've got some good stuff in packs. Um, let's see if we can get something good. I believe Prime Icons are in packs. So that's the first thing we wanna look out for. Obviously it's Icons. Uh, like I said, Prime Icons being out in packs is a massive one. Uh, so let's see uh, what EA wanna throw at us and uh, if we get anything more than Prime Icons. I I'm excited regardless because obviously it means Baby Icons are now out of packs and Prime Icons are now in packs. So um, you can no longer pack Baby Icons uh, anymore and you can from now on pack Prime Icons. We do have, this is not a team of the year nominee this is just a ucl card it's gonna be um carver help 85 rated not too bad we'll take it so uh, i'm just waiting for the ea tweets as well as hopefully the new icon swap, uh, swap set we have been waiting for a while obviously free icons and stuff like that is definitely something that makes everyone very excited so let's see if we can uh, we can hit some big cards i'm really hoping we can get something good i'm not expecting an icon i'm really not that's the last thing i'll ever expect but if we can hit something good i'll be happy uh what have we got here we've got a pk so uh, i don't know if team of the year nominees are still in packs or not uh, but yeah, you have made it official. The official uh, tweet, you guys will see it on your screen uh, right about now. I might be covering some of them, but we do have prime icons now, which means we've got 98 Pele, 96 R9, 96 Zidane, etc, etc. I'm really excited because that means, obviously, uh, it opens up a massive spectrum for really OP meta icons like Hullet, uh, Vieira, or, you know, the prime massive ones uh, to be in packs. So uh, it should be interesting to see, you know, how the market reacts uh, and sort of how uh, how they perform. We've also got a Footmas Rebic that looks really good. So that is uh, going to be an interesting one to have a look at. So um, yeah, let's finish off these FIFA points and see if we can pack anything good. I would love to pack an icon here. We've got an inform here. It's going to be uh, Dutch right wing. Is it Bergui? 83 rated myself for like 11, 12k. I guess that's okay. Um, who am I kidding? From a 50k pack, it's, it's not bad. Not not amazing. It's it's quite average. I am storing, obviously, all the rares uh, because we do have uh, 80 plus player picks that I'm going to be using the rares for. And we get ourselves an on-board. I was expecting one to come around sooner or later. And it was sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, all the rares storing in the club for the 80 plus player pick packs that we can now get. Uh, 10 rares and non -rare, uh, one non-rare for that. Wow, two non-boards in a row. That is abysmal. That is absolutely abysmal. Um, I've also just seen that we have a Roussillon objective, which I'm going to check out in a second. If you guys haven't seen the new season objectives as well, uh, we have a uh, storyline, um, Batch UI, as well as... A, that's three non-boards in a row from 50k packs. That's abysmal. We've got, a, like I said, we've got a storyline Perisic and we've got a storyline Batch UI. Um, and I'll tell you what, these 50ks have gone from being pretty average to... Absolutely abysmal. That's four non-boards in a row. I genuinely want to get a refund for these FIFA points. Like, actually, like, I'm going to keep a smile, but if you, like, I see a lot of people saying that I complain a lot about the game, and I feel like I'm, I'm quite fair in my criticism. If you don't think that's absolutely terrible, I'm sorry, but you need to sort it out. We've actually got something now, finally. Uh, what have we got? We've got a walkout. Um, we've got a German walkout. It's going to be a goalkeeper. It's going to be to Stegen. So Team of the Year nominees are now no longer in packs. That's definitely interesting, making normal walkouts a lot more exciting. Um, and we've got a night raid walkout. That's actually really good. I use him in my team. I'll sell this one, uh, make myself maybe like 50k back, something like that. So I'm happy with that. We've got two more 50k packs left to open. Can we get something good? Obviously, we're not, we're not going to get an icon, but could you imagine... That would be scenes. That would be absolutely unreal, although definitely not going to happen. But I'm interested to see 
sort of how quickly they start getting packed, how often they get packed, sort of the frequency of how uh, how much they're coming packs and uh, and how much it's going to cost as well. Because you've got to remember as well, we're getting we are getting prime icon moments for every icon this year. Uh, they are going to be coming out um, in a, I think a couple months time. Maybe a month and a half, two months, um, but we are getting those. They will affect the price of Prime Icons, definitely. Um, so there's no reason for these to be next to impossible to pack. I mean, for the high rate, the high tier ones, definitely. But but with with Prime Moments on the way at some point, I think there's definitely no reason for these to be extortionate. We'll have to see though. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. I might add more FIFA points because I'm a really stupid person. Don't don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing right now. If I was to urge you to do anything, it's not add FIFA points. I do this because this is my full time job, and making longer content um, excels the excels uh, me making money. Basically, um, that's why I, I add more FIFA points and why I do FIFA point pack openings. It is not worth it in the slightest. Um, I wouldn't do it if I were you. So uh, anyway, like as we say that, we'll move on to some more 50k packs and see if we can get anything good in these. I'm hoping for at least one decent walkout. That would be nice. One decent walkout to make some coins back would be very nice. This one is going to be a non-board, uh, sorry, a non-walkout, unfortunately. There's only 4,000 left. I'm not sure if I'll get all these open. I'm going to try and be quick about it uh, and, and just go through and discard all these uh, all these duplicates and, and stuff like that. How many is left? And they're gone. Brilliant. So we've got Prime Golds and Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. I guess we'll open up the Prime Golds first. I'm actually not a big fan of Prime Gold Packs, personally. Changed my mind? Okay, maybe. Kalor Navas. Uh, that's not bad. 87. That's okay. I think he's selling for about 20k right now, maybe. So, um, not too bad. As we slate them, we actually do get a, uh, a walkout of them. So, that's actually not too bad. But that means that the next eight are going to be pretty awful, I'm guessing. The next eight or nine are probably going to be non-boards. As I say that, of course, a non-board. So I'm going to skip back. If we uh, if we do hit anything decent, I will uh, I will be back. And uh, if we don't, then expect me to skip back to some SBCs. Oh, we've got something here. What we got? No walkout. It's a board. Anything interesting? Spanish centre mid. Iniesta. That's an icon right there. That is an icon in a year's time, definitely. Let me know down below uh, who you think could be an icon that's on the game right now. Um, that could be an icon, for example, in like a year's time. I think, uh, or a few years' time, should we say. I think, for example, uh, Iniesta is a great example. Uh, Lucas Podolski could be a good one as well. We've got another board here. We've got an inform, not a walkout, though. It's going to be Belgian goalkeeper. No idea. Another 11,000 coins may be made from that. Uh, if we're lucky, if he does sell for anything more than discard. So we're sending to the transfer list and, uh, and discard the rest. But uh, I think, yeah, Iniesta Podolski, um, Cassias could definitely get an, uh, an icon card at some point in the future. Uh, there's a few d definite contenders, I think. Uh, let me know down below what you think. And uh, we've actually got ourselves another board here. It's going to be Jao Moutinho, 84 rated. These are a little bit better than I was expecting. As I've said that, I'm thinking the next ones are actually going to be awful. So... Um, prove me wrong, please. We'll see if this works again. Nope. Okay, I'll see you guys when we next get aboard. We got aboard at least. What we got? It's a walkout. Hello. Oh my word! That is insane! <laughs> Let's go! That's the first time I've packed him. Oh my god. How much did he go for? That's 368k. That is close to being one of the most expensive plays I've packed. If not, okay, no, we, Messi is the most, the, the team of the group says Messi we packed. But that is, I think, the second most expensive player I've packed this year. That is a massive pack pull. I am over the moon. Let's go. Come on. What an amazing pack pull. I was slating these 45k's, but they've actually been pretty decent so far. I'm very happy with that. Uh, wow. Wow. That is that is absolutely incredible. I am over the moon with that young mince on. What an amazing pack pull. We got something here as well. What we got? Another walkout. Spanish. Cam. David Silva. 87 rated, I think. 88 rated. Hey, I'll take that. I don't know how much he sells for, but I'm guessing he's a little bit considering uh, SBC cannon fodder and things like that. And a Pepe in there as well. I don't think Pepe's quite got the value he used to, but that is still pretty decent. That is that is, that is really decent. Uh, Footbin's just gone down, unfortunately. I'd say David Silva's about 30k. Pepe is maybe like 3 or 4k, but hey, that's a good pack pull. I'm very happy with that. The pack look seems to be really, really good right now. So, uh... 
I'm going to keep opening and, and just see where it where it goes. Really, I guess. Unfortunately, we've only got two prime golds left, which means you're going to have to open a bunch of 15ks that never seem to give me anything. But hey, with this look at the minute, who knows? Maybe maybe we get some good stuff. So uh, last prime gold players pack. Can we hit something good? We'll have to see. No board, unfortunately, to end it off. I'll go through some 15Ks, and like I said, I'll see you guys if uh, if we pack anything good. We've got a board in the first one. No walkout, sadly, just a normal board. It's going to be Brazilian. Centre mid, Allen. Hey, that's good. I don't know how much Allen sells for. Footbin's just come back up, so I'll check. Allen's currently selling for the 85. That's a 12k card right there. My pack look seems really good right now. We're making some solid coins. I'm happy with the amount of coins we're making. Uh, I think we're definitely going to sell pretty much all the players we've packed here. I'm looking to make some improvements to my squad. So, uh, so that we're looking really good right now. Hey, we've got at least a board here. No walkout, sadly. Just a normal board again. It's going to be Italian, goalkeeper... It's going to be Nick 28T. We'll take that. Not bad. We'll take that. We'll store that in the club. Um... Yeah, it's an 84. It's decent. Uh, it won't be in there as well. Uh, already got him, so I'll just send it to the transfer list as well. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, we've got 1,350 points left. So we've got, like, after this one, three more. Um, let's see if we can get at least a board in one of the last three. Hey, at least a board in this one. Oh, it's an inform. Not a walkout, sadly. Just normal inform. It's going to be uh, Argentinian. I was almost said Italian then. It's going to be uh, Paredes. Another 83 rated inform. So I think, like I said... Uh, they are going for a little bit, given that they're needed for certain SBCs. We've got a 75 to 80 rate player pick there as well. Uh, they are going for a little bit, considering they are needed for SBCs. Um, Paredes on the market currently is about... He's about 11k, so a little bit more than discard. Nothing too special, though. Um, but 11k is always nice to get in a pack. We might as well open the last two on camera and just see if we can get anything good from the last two packs. Let's see. First one's going to unfortunately be a non-board, so we'll just skip that. 15Ks are all right. You know, they give some good consumables. If I was to check, you know, maybe we would have packed like a Hunter Chem Style or a Shadow Chem Style in one of these if we're lucky. Um, that would have sold for like 10,000 coins. So it would have been like a decent pack pool to get. Um, but in terms of like giving out huge pools, very rare do I ever hit like a walkout or an informed uh, walkout or, or like a special card walkout or anything like that in these. Um, typically, they are just, uh, they are pretty, pretty dual packs that are, they're mainly just to, you know, soften FIFA points from people. Um, they're just there, sort of, if someone's got, like, 3,000 FIFA points and they don't want to be patient and wait for another lightning round, they'll go and spend them all on uh, 15k packs. So that's pretty much the purpose of them. Right, so we are done with our 24,000 FIFA points, and I think we've done really, really well. We've had, obviously, Son, who's an incredible player to pack, insane, huge player to pack. First time I packed him this year, three informs. Uh, we had a Testagan in there as well. We've done really, really well. Um, let's go have a look at the Footmus SBCs now and see what we are getting from Footmus. So we've got the Rebic card, who's got four-star skills and weak foot. Decent in-game stats, 83 finishings, not too bad. 81 composure is pretty decent. Great physical stats. Uh, his, his agility and balance are all right. You know, balance is not great, but can be fixed with the chem style. Um, how much is this SBC? Is it worth it? That is the question. So it's an 85 with a team of the week. That's actually quite, quite steep. I think that's quite expensive. Um, now, De Gea is obviously an uh, 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 84 with one Premier League player. What rating is he again? 90 rated. That card looks incredible, very incredible stats, and it's incredibly cheap. That's an 84 rate team. That's 100% worth it, even just for the, the value of a 90 rated card alone. I think that's definitely worth it. Do we have any new SBCs around here? So, uh, obviously, we've got no um, we've got no icon swaps. We've got a Gedson Fernandez SBC. Uh, three star, three star, high, high. Looks very average. Can't see him getting into my squad. Uh, unless it's incredibly cheap, I don't see the value in doing this SBC. Um, an 82 rated squad's not too bad, to be fair. That's actually really cheap. I think I will probably do it just to have it in case it gets some good upgrades. Um, but not too interested in that. Now, I believe we also have... Uh, some season objectives to have a look at. So if you guys haven't seen the new season, this is the brand new season. Uh, there's only 20 um, tiers now instead of 30. Uh, so it should be a little bit quicker to, to, to get, I think. So we've got a loan to Dan. Uh, we have got um, a gold pack, a jumbo gold pack, two very terrible packs, but very easy to achieve. So it's not a big deal. And then a seven game loan to Dan 
at level five for two and a half thousand XP. Now, one thing I will say is that loans don't actually deplete. Uh, so if you've got a seven game loan as a Dan, playing friendlies won't actually use up this card at all. If you want to just grind a load of friendlies and, and really get a feel for this card and just play with it, you can actually pretty much have an unlimited supply of Zidane just in friendlies and against like online friends and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, at level six, we have a jumbo premium gold pack. We have uh, two um, stadium themes at level seven. We have the jumbo premium gold 26 pack, which is a jumbo premium gold pack. So a 15k pack with one extra player, not an extra rare though. Uh, and then at level nine, we have a Fabian Delph who actually looks pretty good in game. Great dribbling stats, uh, 91 stamina, uh, decent defensive stats as well. If you're looking for a cheaper option, this is definitely, uh, uh, well, it's free. So it's definitely a decent option for, you know, starter Prem teams. Then we have the Ugly Sweater or Gingerbread uh, Tifo. Uh, we have the same uh, badge. We have a Gingerbread and a Book badge. We have Rare Gold Pack at level 12. Uh, the Frosty Ball at level 13. We have a uh, Footmas Santi Cazola at level 14. That actually has five star skills on weak foot. Now his actual card in game at the minute has four star skills on weak foot. So uh, he's had an upgrade there. Um, decent games apart from his stamina is abysmal. Um, and agility is not great but can be improved with a chem style really easily. We have the new celebration at number 15. Uh, it's the starfish celebration I guess. It's, it's, it's interesting. Um, it's like the snow angel sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we have a mega pack at level 16. Level 17 is a uh, holiday fun stadium theme. We have a TFU or TFO, sorry, <laughs> level 18. Level 19 is a prime gold place pack. And at level 20, we have the choice of a storyline batch who has five star skills and four star weak foot. Uh, 87 finishing, 88 composure. This card looks really good apart from his stamina. Um, definitely a very, very good option even right now in the game. Or we have an 87 Perisic who looks really good as well. Um, Agility and balance isn't quite amazing, but can be fixed with a chemistry style. Uh, good pace, good shooting, good passing, um, decent defensive stats as well, even though it doesn't need them. Good physical stats too. Uh, and of course, they're both pretty tall in six foot one and uh, and six foot one as well. So they're both pretty much the same height. Uh, they're both similar cards. And it's going to be a difficult choice as well. And only 45,000 uh, levels needed or levels of XP needed uh, in 20 days. I don't think is that difficult. I think you can definitely uh, achieve it. And in the season objectives, we have a brand new Roussillon card. Um, now, it requires either a scoring with a Bundesliga player in Rivals, um, score 10 goals using League 1 players, uh, score 15 goals using a low driven in online friendlies. That should be easy. You can do that with a friend. Assist four goals using crosses in rivals. That might be quite difficult, actually. And score at least two uh, goals using French players in four rival wins. The card itself looks absolutely incredible, though. Definitely worth the grind, if you ask me. I would say so. Um, it looks like a phenomenal card. Uh, I'd say he's definitely uh, he's definitely a really solid card. So that is it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Let me know down below if you think the quality of the camera is improved. I think it's improved dramatically, and I'm very excited to bring more content with it. Um, and also let me know down below if you're going to be completing any SBCs. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you lads later.